Hello, this is Nightmare, the most feared player of Kingdom, 785. See, so yeah, a couple of days ago, there was a new patch. Patch 10.4.0. And they have new equipment. They have the amazing Hell's Bane equipment. That you can now buy for money. Take a look at how the Hell's Bane armor shines in the firelight. It's transparent, you can see through it. Look into the fire. You can look into the depths of Hell. If you buy this set. And look at it. After you buy it. Look at the amazing graphics. I'm sure it took the Chinese design team that made this. Like a whole year to come up with it. And they probably had like hundreds of Chinese people working on it. In order to refine this into its perfect true form that it is right now. Look at the last Empyrean set. It looks like trash. This new set is absolutely amazing. It outshines the Empyrean set in every way. Just look at the graphics. Look at the details. There's a little loop-de-loop -loop here and a little line there. It's definitely worth the money, trust me. Look at that helm. That just looks badass. I would gladly spend all my money just to get that. Look at it. Look at the eyeballs. It's like a purple flame thing. With flames behind it. Amazing. Look at the teeth. It's like Dracula teeth. If you buy this set, you get to be Dracula. You get to suck people's blood. See, so yeah, it costs 100 bucks per 50 ingots, like usual. That was the same thing that happened with Empyrean ingots when they were first released. I see a pattern here. Say so you want 1200 bucks for you to buy a full set if you just bought using this. Same exact thing for Empyrean when it was first released. But there is something very different that happened this patch that I'm pretty sure didn't happen the last patch. Or maybe it did, I don't know. But it's very interesting, though, nonetheless. But yeah, like, how long ago was the Empyrean patch? Like, a few months ago? See, as you can see, the Empyrean set was released 2020, 09, 02. So that's about five months ago. So five months ago, people were spending $1,200 in order to get a full set of Empyrean. Just like right now, people are spending $1,200 to get a full set of Hell's Bane. It's so like every five months, you're going to have to spend $1,200 just to have the newest, baddest equipment that you can get. That's a lot of money just for equipment. You also have all this other stuff like dragon emblems, statues, and then you have gemstones. All this other stuff on top of that. So it costs you like, what, $2,500 a year just to have the best equipment? And that's it? Then you have all these other things too. That's a lot of money. But now for this Hell's Bane patch, it changed it up. As you can see, if you go to the Alliance and you go to your store, you can get Empyrean ingots for free from your Alliance store. So you just buy it just like that, seven ingots for free. And people are spending $1,200 just five months ago to buy those and get a full set. As you can see, I only have two pieces of Empyrean. I still need four pieces. So now I'm able to get seven ingots a day for free without spending anything at all. So it'll take me about 15 days per piece to get. So I'll have these four pieces I'm missing within about like 55 days or so. So I'm only like seven months behind the people that spent money when Empyrean first came out. So free-to-play players are only one patch behind. The hell is Bane. So if King of Avalon keeps this trend up, you're basically spending all your money to only be seven months ahead of the free-to-play players, which I think is, like, really bad. That's a really poor investment of your money. So this trend keeps up. After seven months, your Hell's Bane will be, like, absolutely useless because all the free-to-play players already have the full set. Just, like, two months from now, whoever spent money for this Empyrean set, it's going to be useless because I'll have it for free. So the free-to-play players are not far behind the pay-to-win players. So paying to play this in this game is becoming worse and worse. Now it's becoming better and better to actually just become a free-to-play player, in my opinion. It's your money, it's not my money. You can always spend to get your little slight advantage that you want, that you can have for seven whole months. That might sound good to you, but to me, it doesn't really sound very good. Then also they have gemstones that went on sale because of this patch got released. 
So now gemstones are way cheaper than they were. I think before it was like 100 bucks for 100 before this patch. Now it's 100 bucks for 200 So stuff gets cheaper and cheaper as time goes on. But now stuff is getting free sooner than it was before. It's like I said. When NS3 came out, you could buy NS3, but you could only get NS1 for free. So the free-to-play players were like two patches behind. But now with this Empyrean thing being free so soon, they're only one patch behind the Hell's Bane players. So in my opinion, this is one of the worst patches to spend your money on because the free-to-play players are not far behind. This Alliance store is basically all you should be doing, in my opinion. You shouldn't spend any money at all. Now you could spend some money to buy this, your boost for the Alliance store, because then you get the Empyrean and Gods twice as fast, plus you also get Sanguine stones and stuff, and all this other stuff. But yeah, I probably won't buy it until my Alliance is at least level, level 12, so I can buy whatever I want from this. Then also I'd be getting Raven Scrolls my Alliance is a higher level. So I won't spend on this until my Alliance is at least level 10. So right now I'm like pretty much free to play. So I'll buy these Empyrean Gods. Remember they pop up and they pop up every single day. Take me like 55 days to get the full set. Then Retard spent 1200 bucks to get this just five months ago. See, I'm right in your heels. All you big spenders, right behind you. Because, yeah, really, what is the point of spending money in this game in the first place? I guess people spend so they can win Kingdom vs. Kingdom. Then you get to be king of your kingdom to you get some free stuff. But look at this, though. My kingdom right now lost the last KVK. And as you can see, if you look at the Hall of Kings, our last king was number 16 in 2021 02. So we seriously haven't had a king for like two months in this kingdom. So all these big spenders in my kingdom that are dropping thousands of dollars, they're not even getting anything off of it because they're not even winning the throne to begin with. Like, I can understand spending to get an advantage to win the Kingdom vs. Kingdom event, but if you're losing the Kingdom vs. Kingdom event anyway, why even spend in the first place? So I think all these big spenders in my kingdom are stupid because they can't even win the Kingdom vs. Kingdom. So, yeah, they suck. Like, a lot. They're just giving the Chinese all of their money. What do they get back? Absolutely nothing. Free-to-play players get exactly what they spent for just seven months later. Because, yeah, Imperium was five months ago. Now they have Hell's Bane right now. It takes free-to-play players like a couple months to get that stuff for free. So they're only seven months behind the big spenders. And they also have these chests now, too, these Smith's chests you can buy. So you can also spend for these and get some pretty good stuff really cheap. So spending for this stuff right off the bat when it's first released for $1,200 just to get a full set is horrible. Let's wait for it to be free or try and get it off of one of these Smith's artifact chests or Smith equipment chests. So yeah, good job King of Avalon. They're actually giving out free stuff a lot sooner than they used to. So the game's actually becoming more and more fair for the free-to-play players. It's not as pay-to-win as it used to be. And that's good. But at the same time, it becomes worse and worse for people to spend. So people should just stop spending this game completely, in my opinion. Or if you are going to spend, only spend a very little amount. Don't spend 1200 bucks to get a full set of Hell's Bane. Not worth it. Definitely not worth it. Because yeah, if you spend, you do get these Destiny marks and stuff. You get some free stuff this way. But it's really not free because guess what? You spent money for it. Because all the stuff right here you see in the Mark of Destiny, guess what? It's all going to be free anyway, like five months down the road. Like this Hell's Bane stuff, that'll probably be free in five months. Lionheart Manuscripts, that'll be free pretty soon. Empyrean Gods, you can get that. Well, guess what? That already is free. You get Genesis Statues, guess what? That already is free. Some of the stuff that they're offering in this Mark of Destiny is already free to get anyway, so why even spend money for a chance to get it? See, so spending money is bad. Stop giving the Chinese your money. Give your money to me instead. If you're going to spend, just give it to me. Because I can spend it for you on this game. Okay? Do it. Because yeah, I have a YouTube channel. I have like thousands of people that watch me. So if you give me your money, I can get stronger and kill more people. Then you get to entertain thousands of people across the whole planet. 
instead of just entertaining yourself and the Chinese. So giving your money to me is a better way to spend, in my opinion. And then also, like I was saying before, in my Alliance store, my Alliance isn't even level 10 yet. I'd really like it to be level 10, because then I get the Raven Scrolls for free. Because I don't even have those all unlocked yet. So I need more members to join my Alliance and donate to the Alliance to level it up and do spirit ceremonies and stuff. So yeah, if you haven't noticed, the top 10 players in my weekly Alliance donation list get 25 cents each week paid to their PayPal account. So like as you can see right now, I go to the research, donation ranking this week. All these people in the top 10, once this week is over, will get 25 cents. So I'll pay myself 25 cents. Because I'm so good at the game. Yeah, this alliance has a lot of open spots for people. Just make a new account. Join this kingdom. Join my alliance. Start donating to it. And you can win 25 cents every week. All you do is you click a button. Like two times out of the day. You just click this thing. When you wake up in the morning, click it. Before you go to sleep, you know, seriously, probably beat top 10 in my alliance. So get 25 cents. All it takes you is like 30 seconds every day, twice a day to get it. Easy money. Unlike the Chinese that make this game, I don't take your money. I actually give out money for free. I'm the opposite of China. I don't take the money. I give it. Join my alliance and you shall receive the bountiful treasure stuff. Join now. Because, yeah, seriously, the King of Avalon's like robbing you blind. Because people seriously spent 1200 bucks for Empyrean set five months ago. Now it's 100% free to get just by going to your alliance store. So those people seriously got robbed and I feel bad for them. So don't make their mistake. Join my alliance. Get paid instead. Subscribe.